What it do, my YouTube fan? Bam! It's been a minute, it's been a while, and I apologize. But I'm back. First thing I want to say, boo. First thing I want to say, Happy New Year. It's a new year, same ratchet, bougie bitch, but we're just doing some different shit. Okay? Okay. So. I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. See if this is going to work. Oh, there we go. Boom. I'm just going to have to stand in front of this big ass light because the shit is bright. But, anywho, so this is going to be an update. Okay. Today okay. is Monday, January 21st. I'm officially 12 weeks, six days, so tomorrow. I'll be 13 weeks, but I had my 12-week doctor's appointment last Friday just passed. So I'm coming to give you guys my bump date, and I'm in the process of cooking. So I had to bring you guys to the kitchen, because since I had the motivation to record, hey, this is my life. I'm welcoming you in, in welcoming you into it, real raw and uncut. Because until the kid can afford her a high-def digital camera um, and the editing equipment, hey, and the editing equipment, y'all gonna get these raw videos, okay? Just like most YouTubers who started out. They gave us that raw shit. Then we got that upgraded shit. So just bear with me through the raw. So yeah, back to the update. Because we're getting off subject. Friday when I went to the doctor, I was 12 weeks. Four days? Five days? Something like that? Um, I gained 13 pounds. I had to let that resonate. Because I gained 13 pounds. Like 13 whole pounds. Now, I did not know my weight prior to pregnancy. I wasn't on the scale because... I was petite, so it wasn't really no real purpose for me to scale watch. But when I went to the doctor for my first initial, um, for my first initial appointment, I was 150. So Friday when I went to the doctor, just imagine my surprise. From eight weeks to 12 weeks. Yeah, five weeks. I got on that scale and that bad boy said 163.8. Say excuse me. Say excuse me. Oh, uh, okay. 13 whole pounds in five weeks. Um, TMI, had a minor yeast infection. So the kind of medicine that he would prescribe you have to take orally. He stated that I couldn't take it because I'm pregnant. So he told me to go out and get a you know regular monostat. Okay, I did that. Right towards the end of using the monostat, um, I noticed that it start it started to burn when I went to the bathroom. Some more TMI, but pregnancy is all TMI. Um, it started to burn when I was going to use number one. It wasn't doing that prior to them calling me and telling me I had one. So why would it do it now that I'm taking the medication? And then I had, when I went to use the restroom, I went to go wipe. And it was that very, very faint light pink when I went to go wipe. And it was kind of mixed in with the used to fix your cream. But I can tell the difference. This is, this is not my first time at the rodeo. Um... And it was just that one time. So I was like, yeah, I'm about to stop this. Because every time I was like inserting it, it was starting to bother me as well. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to stop this. This is not going to work. And it all happened that one time. Didn't see anything else. Wasn't cramping. Wasn't hurting. Nothing else out of there. So once I told my doctor about it, he was like, yeah, it was probably some minor irritation. I said, that's what I thought it was. So that's why I wasn't really tripping. Um, What else? Clearly my appetite has came. Because if you are, if you watched the other videos, had no appetite at all. Couldn't eat nothing. I don't know where the hell the appetite came from. 
But it got so serious to the fact that it was, I was eating everything inside. And I know I'm supposed to let you guys in my life, and I know you um, more than likely can hear my five-year-old in the background. If I would have braided her hair down last night, I would have bring her on camera. But since that didn't happen last night, and she rocking this ugly ponytail, <laughs> nah, we're not going to do that. Um, my anxiety is at an all-time high. My depression is at an all-time high. Uh, my mood swings are all over the place. I want to cuss you out. I want to bless you. I want to play with you. I want to talk to you. I want to cuss you out. I want to laugh. I want to cry. I want to cuss you out. It's just, most of the time, I just want to cuss people out, but I'll, whatever. Um, what else has been going on? I've been having some minor swelling, um, headaches due to certain activities. Um, I have been extremely lazy. I don't want to do anything at all. Like, it takes everything for me to get out to bed and get my child a bath and get her ready for school in the morning. It takes everything out of me. And I have to take everything out of me to do that. I've been so exhausted lately. Very, very lazy. Somewhat not motivated, but motivated enough. Um... Oh, starting to break out. I'm glad I read my phages now. I'm breaking out. I will lean in closer to the camera, but due to, uh, let's see if we're going to keep it real wrong, funky, uh, I'm growing facial hair right now, which is not nothing out the ordinary. It's fucking hereditary, but my dad, the same thing. And it's just kind of, whoo. But I will tell you, I'm breaking out all right here. Nope, just all right here and across my forehead. To me, that says, oh, I'm having a girl. Because I broke up with my daughter. I didn't break up with my son. All these symptoms that I'm having. I'm like, oh, I think I'm having a girl. Because I do that shit with my daughter. Like, morning sickness, I didn't have that with my son. All pregnancies are different, but us cut moms, we kind of have that intuition. Especially when you're on your third or fourth pregnancy. Like, yeah. But yeah, um, I'm breaking out. I have a lot of symptoms, so that's what puts me in the mind frame of, it's a girl. Oh, and if you wonder what I'm cooking, I'm cooking, I'm going to cook us on some breakfast burritos. Some sausage, sausage, egg, and cheese with dark leafy green mix. Because my bowel movements have not been the best. And yeah, no, I don't want your hair on the camera because that that's not cute. My diet has not been the best because I'm out here eating up everything, mainly sweets. Ooh, that's another um, symptom that I'm having. I have a, when I say I be having a hankering for sweets, I got a sweet tooth out of this world, hunting. You know the um, pack of cookies, um, the pecan sandies? My fat ass sat here and laid, was laying in bed while I forgot what I was watching, but it was some type of a reality show. It was some type of a reality show. And I sat there ate that whole jar of cookies. Bye -bye. Didn't I say I don't want your head in this damn camera? Go sit down. But I sat there ate that whole um, pack of cookies. Less than an hour. I know that for facts. Go sit down and watch that phone or make you go in the room. In the other chair. Don't make don't make me say it again. That's what they're hard headed. Um Yeah, but I and within an hour I done ate that whole pack of cookies by myself because I was downstairs talking with my aunt and her boyfriend and then I happened to be like you know I'm going in my room I'm going to lay down my daughter was asleep and had no had to share it was on like Donkey Kong because this shit is like cooking mad fucking slow I ain't got time for that um Am I having any strange or unusual cravings? No, nothing but the sweet tooth. And that's not unusual for me. Had that with my daughter. Um, 
nothing really out of the ordinary. So this is going to be a very quick update. And I know y'all can see me in my blue. Oh, that's one thing I have been going through. Um, well, Some days and some nights it'd be like super, super big. And then other days just like this size. Like yesterday, I looked like a house and I felt like one. I was bloated. That's, and that's, matter of fact, that's another symptom that I'm dealing with right now. A lot of bloat, especially at night, especially after I eat. Um, when I went to the doctor's appointment, he couldn't hear the um, baby's heartbeat on the Doppler. But he did a quick ultrasound, and the baby was right here in the center of my stomach, which is funny. Because about two, two weeks ago, I was laying in the bed, and I had felt something like, right here and when i went to go to touch him i was like "Ooh, what is that and i'm gonna go touch it and i swear i felt like i felt the baby's body because it's the little body right now and when i went to go push and touch it it had moved away i was like oh. let me find out and it was so ironic when i went to get them he had to do the ultrasound that the baby was right here in the center of my stomach because that's where it felt like it had moved to but yeah the baby was waving child I don't think he was waving. I think he was trying to. Block. I keep I keep saying he because I'm trying to manifest the boy. I want another boy. I have a ten year old. Well, he'll be ten next month, and my daughter just turned five on the fifteenth of this month. And they're both. Well, my son is still asleep. Me and my daughter get, got up real early because we went to sleep. Actually, me and my daughter went to sleep early. Me and my daughter went to sleep before nine o'clock. I want to say. Yeah, me and my daughter went to sleep before nine o'clock because I woke up. I went to sleep before eight, cause when I woke up it was like 10, 10 or eleven, and my son was um sitting in the bed with us, um on his game, so I was like okay cool, and I turned to look and my daughter was still asleep. I went to go use the bathroom and I got back in bed. And I went back to sleep cause I knew my son was gonna go to go to sleep. I mean, where he going? What he gonna do? Um, I forgot why I said that. But then who put you away? Yeah. That's, oh, that's why I keep saying boy, or I keep saying he, because I'm trying to manifest another boy. If it's a girl, I will be kind of salty. I'm not going to sit here and tell that lie, because everybody be so quick. Oh, I want, but I'll be happy either way, as long as it's healthy. Yes, I truly will be happy, as long as the baby is healthy. But I'm going to be a little salty if it's another girl. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and fake the fault. I ain't going to let my baby know less. Trust and believe me, I'm going to get over that saltiness. But the initial hit, oh yeah, the initial hit, I'm going to be salty. It's up. But when it's time to go shopping for my baby, oh, she ain't gonna give a damn no more. <laughs> that moment, there's two chef hats, okay? Um, I think that's it, because uh, I feel like I'm about to start rambling on and gonna make this an unnecessarily long video. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the bump date. Oh, I'm sorry, rabbit in the hole. My breasts have gotten huge. Oh, like, see how TMI, and I'm sorry to do that, but yo, know, what I really want to do is pull my shirt up so you can see, but I'm, I might, I don't know, but my breasts are freaking huge if they're heavy. Oh yeah, and my butt is getting big. I've noticed it, but I ain't saying nothing about it. And then, one of my homegirls, well, yeah, she's my homegirl. Um, me and her cousin grew up together, so... We was, I was basically raised up under her like she's like a bigger sister to me, so I'm gonna call her big sis. She um she even told me that my butt was getting big, and then when my aunt told me, oh, I just knew for facts. Yeah, it's getting big. It's official. My auntie told me it's official. I am getting thought. But that's one of the things that happens for me because it happened with the last two pregnancies. Everything on me got big. As you can see, my nose is getting big. I feel like my arms are getting big, my chest is getting big, my stomach is getting big, and so is my butt. So let's give y'all a picture of the belly. See, if y'all can see. Yeah, this is with my shirt on. Mind you, again, I'll be 13 weeks tomorrow. So for those who don't keep up with weeks, I'm three months. Three months per goal. You see, this is how small my belly be when I first wake up. Now, wait till I go to sleep tonight. It's gonna be about. 
out to here and it's gonna be sitting up to here. But these are old stretch marks. These are stretch marks from my previous, well, mainly my um, pregnancy with my son. They're like skin dented. And when my stomach is flat, it will look like an oatmeal pie. <laughs> But I love my tiger stripes. Yo, my stomach cold. You can see my little dark line. And my belly button is already starting to poke out. Especially on the top. I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see. Sorry. Yeah, you see? My belly button's already starting to poke out at the top. I always have what I call a pig nose when it pokes all the way out. Because within the next month or two, all this is going to be sticking out. It's going to look like a little pig nose. You guys see how I skin my stretch marks on? I love my tiger stripes. And look how big my nose is. Mm. It looks so crusty though. Look how big my nose is. So, on that note, I'm going to end it just like that.